Welcome to Hankster's Hot Rods, located in Daytona Beach, Florida, where we have our 25,000 square foot showroom. We have anywhere from 60 to 65, maybe even upwards of 70 vehicles on hand at any given time, all of which we own. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hanksters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. If it's down off our website, that means the car is no longer available. Something that we are going to offer to you today um, is a very inexpensive entry level collector car. We have here a 1976 uh, El Camino. Uh, power steering, power brakes, and air conditioning. You are looking at a 350, a late model out of a 1990. The rebuilt motor has less than 100 miles on it. Uh, we bought this car from a local collector here uh, in Florida, the car has been in storage. He got rid of it because of some health issues, so uh, he approached us to buy it, so we did. Um, very nice, solid car. One repaint. Um, I don't have any documentation on the rebuild. Uh, this is not an actual mileage car. It is exempt on the title. Um, it is one repaint. Um, a lot of new components. Uh, we'll show you that throughout the presentation. but. Very nice, inexpensive collector car with power steering, power brakes, air that you can drive around as a daily driver that is not going to depreciate, that has kind of a cool look to it. As you can see, the car is white in color. Um, we'll open up the interior and we'll show you the uh, blue interior in the car. It is cloth interior. Um, we did put the wheels on it. It had uh, hub caps on it. The tires on the car and the wheels on the car are brand new. They don't even have, we haven't even put a mile on them yet. Uh, dual chrome mirrors. Uh, you will get the, in the still photos, you'll see which wheels did come on the vehicle. You will get those when the vehicle arrives. There are four. Um, they are still usable. They're fine. They would just wanted to kind of style up the car a little bit. So we put some new wheels on it. As I mentioned earlier, you can see the interior, uh, blue door panels, blue carpeting, uh, blue cloth interior, seat belts in the car, no back seat, obviously. Again, we'll show you uh, the dash close up and the instrument cluster uh, later on in the test drive presentation, but no tears in the interior. The interior is newer. Um, the carpeting, uh, there's no tears, um, no dry rot in the carpet, <clears throat> original steering wheel. Um, this is a two-owner car. This car spent the majority of its life in uh, New Mexico until coming to Florida two years ago when the collector we purchased it from uh, bought it. <clears throat> you can see the bed is not perfect. Um, driver quality car. Again, we're just offering this classic at an inexpensive price point. It's a nice, solid driver quality car. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper. Again, it's not perfect, but um, nice chrome. It's not peeling or rusting or cracking, but you can see some scratches. It looks like the original bumper. Um, just the tailgate here does function. Open and close, pretty simple. El Camino badging there on the uh, passenger side rear gate. Uh, fitment down both sides of the car is really pretty outstanding um, for the vehicle. Uh, again, a nice solid car that spent all of its life in the warmer climates, never uh, put through any of the elements that would cause any uh, concern for rust. Little tiny dent right there. There's a couple dents here, right there in the rear too. But again, overall, just a really nice, inexpensive driver quality vehicle. Um, somebody does have a spare there in the back. So you do have a spare. <laughs> so you get a bunch of wheels and tires with this car. The four you see on it, the spare you see in the back seat, and then four more hubcap wheels, tires. Uh, again, you'll see uh, some gauges mount, mounted underneath the dash there that we'll uh, find out later if, you know, what purpose they serve and if they are functioning in the uh, test drive presentation portion of our video. El Camino badging on both sides of the front fenders, driver's side and passenger side. Uh, paint on the hood's really nice. Chrome lower on the front bumper's in nice condition. Top of the front bumper's painted white, the same color as the car. The grill, original to the vehicle, looks to be in good condition. 
Nice looking car so far. Uh, we're going to take it outside. We're going to put it up in the air and, uh, well, put it on the rack, put it up in the air and show you guys what the undercarriage looks like. It's a nice solid car underneath. Um, we're going to show that to you here in a couple minutes. But uh, again, uh, no documentation of the rebuild of the motor. Uh, 350 out of a 1990, 100 miles on it. Uh, mileage is exempt on the title. We don't know the true mileage of the car. Two owner car, one repaint, power steering, power brakes, AC, two sets of wheels. I think that's all we can cover for right now. So let's take it out on the rack, throw it in the air, and show you what the underneath looks like. Underneath our 1976 Chevy El Camino. This car's nicer underneath than it is up top. Notice I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Yes, we still are in Daytona Beach. We didn't go up to the PA location or anything like that. Gary brought me some of his freaking cold weather down here from Pennsylvania, so we're freezing today. Anyways, uh, front disc brakes in this El Camino. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, oil pan's nice and dry because the motor is fresh, less than 100 miles on the motor. So I know there's a lot of stuff in the way for you to see up there, but you're just going to have to take my word for it or you're going to have to come down here and look at it with your own eyes. Frame rails on the car are fantastic. Uh, we put the exhaust on. It's brand new. Well, we didn't do it. Thank you, uh, Daytona Converter in Ormond Beach for doing this fine exhaust job on this vehicle. This car just had a, a set of cutouts on it that dropped down here below the cross member. We took it up there and those guys uh, dialed it in for us and, and really did a nice job. You'll see that throughout the presentation. Uh, transmission pan, nice and dry. You can check that out. As we mentioned, this car spent its entire life in southern climates, so the floor pans are beautiful on both sides, driver and passenger. Um, E-brakes hooked up and functioning just like it should be. Uh, dual pipes, dual mufflers on either side of the drive shaft. Drum brakes in the rear. A lot of new components. Brand new gas tank. We did not put that on, but uh, it's it's got a brand new tank in it. Uh, rear frame rails are in excellent condition too. Drop downs on the rear quarters look fantastic. You can see the tires even still have the stickers on it that we have to wear off of there. This is a great example of a driver quality classic car that you can buy at an inexpensive price point. There's financing on it if you need it. You can use it as an everyday driver. It's not going to depreciate. Air. Nice car. Don't just take my word for it, though. I'm not going to catch everything, see everything, point out everything. I can't do 45 to 60 minute video. We try to make them 15 minutes long at the most, maybe 20, 25 if they uh, have some documentation we need to present to you guys. But we invite you to come down to our showroom here in Daytona Beach. Uh, we have, like I mentioned earlier, at least there's probably 70 cars in the building right now. Uh, there's probably 25 cars in there that aren't on the website that we bought recently. So when you do come down here, you get first shot at uh, seeing cars before they even go on the website like we're doing right now. So come on down, check this car out or any car in our inventory. I encourage all of you to come in person. Look at, feel, touch, drive what you're actually buying. Don't just take my word for it, like I said. With that being said, we do probably 90% of the deals we do each month are done sight unseen. Uh, a lot of people feel confident in our video presentations, our still photos, and the, the presentation of the vehicle we do overall between description, photos, and video. Um, so we make a lot of people happy uh, doing these videos and, and taking the pictures and, and selling these cars sight unseen. Um, as you probably, most of you already know that subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website. We do offer financing on these cars. We work with three different collector car lenders. They will do up to a 10 year loan. They won't on this car. This car is going to be a little bit less expensive. So you're probably looking at a five year max loan on this particular vehicle. But what's nice is if you aren't in the position to pay cash, or if you are and don't necessarily want to part with the money and you want to finance it for a year or two, um, you can do so and there's no prepayment penalty uh, when you pay it off early. And unlike financing a new car, these cars aren't depreciating. In fact, most of them are holding steady right now and some of them, depending on the year maker model, are even appreciating. So it's a nice 
feeling to be able to drive a car for a year or two or three and then turn around and sell it to the next uh, buyer and, and not lose money on it. So let's put it down on the ground, take it out on the drive. I've already driven this car, it runs out fantastic, uh, but we've shown you around the car, a little bit of the interior, we've shown you the undercarriage, and now we're gonna show you the performance and how it runs out. We are inside our 76 El Camino. <clears throat> All the way to the left here, you have your three idiot lights. I don't know if any of them work. That's probably why the lower uh, external gauges are mounted, but anyways, they're there. Um, fuel gauge is functioning. The odometer is reading 76,000 miles. From what I see, I would venture to say that that is the actual mileage for the car, but I can't prove it. So on the website, there's going to be no mileage listed on the car and it's exempt on the title. So it doesn't matter what I say. Um, windshield wipers are working, two speeds. We have low and high. Now when you turn them off, they park back where they should. Turn signals, driver's side, right underneath the zero. And then the uh, passenger side, right underneath the one zero zero. Horn works. The original AM radio works. So you can listen to the two channels in the country that are still broadcasting in AM. Um, so again, your external gauges, uh, temperature and oil are both working. <clears throat> We mentioned earlier the car has AC, but these controls are not worko, but these controls underneath here do. So hopefully you guys can hear that. We're not turning it on today because it's 45 degrees here. Because like I said, Gary gave me his crap weather from PA. Uh, smudge pot with a flamethrower in there. about all we it's just crank windows no power windows um i think that's about it the uh the car runs out fantastic so uh let's take it on the drive car tracks nice and straight we'll let go of the wheel here show you the car doesn't pull to one side or the other straight as an arrow going down the road Response in the steering wheel is great. No, no excess play in the gearbox. Speedometer is functioning. This road we travel down, we show you guys these videos a lot in these cars. It's 40 miles per hour. You can see I got the people in front of me that want to do 32, but we're, we're doing 36, 37 miles per hour, and that's where the uh, speedometer is reading. No vibrations in the floorboards, in the seat, in the steering wheel, in the tires. I told you the tires are brand new. They've just been mounted and balanced. We're coming up on a red light here. Well, just turned green, of course. The brakes work good. I'm gonna have to brake regardless to make the turn. And uh, again, power brakes in the car. The brakes work good. Uh, when you apply the brakes, it doesn't want to jerk the wheel out of your hand to one side or the other. 350 in the car, we'll just give it a little bit of gas here, run it through the gears. As you can see, it's 50 miles per hour, no problem. This road is a 45 here. We get a lot of calls, um, a lot of people trading in leases or they're sick and tired of uh, making the payments and taking the depreciation hit on newer vehicles. I mean, they're fun to drive the first six months you have them, but then it's like, oh, I'm making this payment, this thing's depreciating. So we get a lot of people uh, dumping their lease or dumping their newer cars and getting into some of these older cars. And this is one that will not last and I'll tell you why. It's going to be priced under 20 grand and um, it's a car you can drive every day it's a car with a lot of newer components and it's an unmolested car uh, the wiring harness hasn't been all hacked into um, the floors in the car are original 
uh, the all the sheet metal on the car is original um, so it's unmolested so you know even if you you bought it and let's say I don't like the white paint or I don't like this or I don't like that or I want to put a fancy radio in it it's stuff that you can do and you can kind of make the car your own and you're not going to have to worry about it uh, being worth half of what you paid for it in a year and uh, you can turn around and sell it for for probably what you have into it so again an, an inexpensive car that you drive every day if you wanted to if you're in the uh, southern states here i don't know about those of you up north i don't know if you want to drudge this thing through the snow it might be junking a year or two but uh nonetheless it will be offered for sale on our website we uh we own the car 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in daytona beach hangsters.com is our website this doesn't have a back seat to it, and uh, there's not a whole lot of photos you can take, so I don't know. Check it out on our website. There might be 70, 75 photos up of this car today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. This car at retail price will be offered with free shipping in the lower 48 United States, as well as a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. The price of the car is negotiable, but if we negotiate the price of the car, we can arrange the shipping for you, but you'll pay the uh, carrier when they deliver the car to you, wherever you might live in the U.S. And then uh, if you want to, again, negotiate the price of the car, you will have to buy a warranty for it. The warranty is not through us. We do not make any money off the warranty. It is through a third-party warranty provider, and we do it as an insurance policy for our customers because, as you should know, we don't have a crystal ball to foresee any issues with any cars, you know, six months, 12 months down the road. Um, we go through it. We have a pre-delivery inspection process after, you know, we sell it. And we have an incoming inspection process before we uh, shoot these videos for you. We would love to earn your business, add you to our uh, growing customer base, not only throughout the country, but throughout the world. So check us out. Again, it's hangsters.com. And we are located in beautiful, sunny, usually warm Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.